All right, what's up, guys? I'm Bryce. And I'm Rob. And we are Real Time. Today, we are back with Season 2, Episode 4 of Heartbreak High. This one's called Legs Open, Hearts Broken. Yeah, last episode, a ton on Malachi and Amory. We learned that Malachi... I mean, we've been learning this, this season that he is definitely into guys to some degree, but we didn't really know how much. I think ever since the whole Dusty Harper threesome... We kind of assumed that it was all of them going at it together, and we got confirmed that's that's true. Him and Dusty were even going at it because I remember afterwards he started like looking at guys real differently in in the the locker room and whatnot. But um, yeah, he's been getting to know Rowan, the new boy, and Amory just uh, she's not having a great season with her relationship with him. I think she's maybe trying a little bit too hard. He said he wanted to be more casual, and she was still being a little uh invasive and and trying to get to i mean i don't blame her for wanting to know how he like what he's thinking and or how he's thinking but she did go up and dig up the feelings for the feelings pit found a thing that said forget amory we're pretty convinced it wasn't him that said that especially because it focused on a different one when they were walking away but then the whole bird psycho thing happened made it a grave gravestones and kind of aired out all their dirty laundry then had a picture of amory too so it's like caught in the in the thing in the crime but we still have that mystery in the back of our heads i'm pretty sure it would be the girl uh, that does the announcements but zoe zoe yeah yeah i was thinking i think it's at this point i got zoe number one for bird psycho rowan number two and then an absolute curveball I thought of for three is Dusty, but I really don't think it is him. It's just, I think Bird Psycho has to be an expendable character that won't be in next season. So it's not like it could be like Sasha or someone, you know what I mean? Cash had a pretty big episode last episode. He recently got let out of jail, so he's back at home and he talked to Woodsy about coming back to, back to school. She did not let that happen. Um, at first, uh, he spent the rest of the episode just kind of getting high. Yeah, he <laughs> took some drugs, was kind of laying around doing nothing. Um, and yeah, uh, eventually Harper convinced Woodsy to, to give him a chance and to bring him back. And after Woodsy went to his house, she saw like Chuck and him and Cash getting beat up. And I think she realized like the, the type of environment he's in, like, taking school away from him just makes that so much so much worse so uh yeah cash is back at school thanks to uh, a couple of people shout out harper and woodsy for le- making it happen but yeah i'm just glad to see uh cash actively trying to stay away from chuck and the rest of the essays and being like so good with darren right now because i was worried that like he was potentially just gonna fall back into the whole like letting the Eshes abuse him and control him. But no, he's definitely trying to separate himself from that. And uh, yeah, I, I just hope that it stays that way. All right, guys, that's pretty much it, though. Before we get into this episode, if you guys have been enjoying our Heartbreak High reactions, please drop a like, comment, and subscribe. Check out our links in the description. We have our Patreon, Discord, our second channel, Talk, all of our social medias, and the address to our PO box. But yeah, let's get into it. Heartbreak High Season 2, Episode 4, Legs Open, Hearts Broken. Let's go. Ooh. Quad. Why does Darren have a suitcase? They got on a trip? Yeah, they all have bags. Pose. Sorry, I was my medication reminder. <laughs> right back Pose. to it. Pose. Another cost school camp. Here we go. Ready? Again. Part two. Remembers what happened. So if you can't pick. I don't know if a chance to get fuck eyed in the bush. Stroke the cure. Have some self respect, so. Have a little bit of Come on, Aunt. Thought he was gonna get get away with that one. So they like an actual female. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Wow, and you have it with you right now. So I would smell like I was the very best in this new phase. 
also not it. And anyway, I've got bigger fish to fry, or should I say, bigger birds to fry. Okay, <laughs> don't, stop. Stop don't, it, Amory. Stop. Don't. You're carrying the vibrator. <laughs> oh, great. Last page on the bus. Let's I'll move, take children. Hey, Rowan, um... <laughs> Dude, get that out. Amory, chill. Oh my god, I didn't even realize she had yeah. that. Look, touching his neck. He seems really happy with you. I know you're probably intimidated by our long and very sexy... Come on, Amory. Just be cool about it. Do I get him? <laughs> He's like, just here for the vibe. Just look at him, he won't stop smiling. <laughs> Come on! Oh, he got a condom. Get he might use that. Since when do lesbians need condoms? Since I started fucking your dad. Hmm. Better check if you've been fucking, because I don't have a dad. <laughs> that explains so much. Damn. For real, are you gonna make some balloon animals with him or something? Or do you want to use them? <laughs> oh, look at that look Missy gave. God, isn't anyone just straight anymore? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you boys like a thing now? Yeah, here we are. What a wild and crazy group of kids. Yeah. <laughs> the only two teachers on campus. Decided to assign your cabins. There aren't many. Always get the best cabins. What about your bunting? Uh, wherever you are, obviously. Wow. Survival of the fittest. Would we ask us to use this camp to bring the students together? We need to lead by example. Yeah. Exactly. What is he doing? Why'd he go hood up? Oh, I'm a bitch. Why do we use packing time? Oh my god. <laughs> what are they doing? They snuck in booze oh, like that. Oh, yeah. Look, there's a dead possum in the roof of cabin six, so I'm gonna have to split them up. Zoe's gonna join you in here. Oh, but Zoe's oh Zoe. That kind of confirms it's her, right? Because they're gonna find some evidence. Maybe, or they'll prove her innocence. There's still a lot of season left. Degrading yourself, wasting your mental energy chasing dick, whilst I'm selfing up and taking control over my mind and body. Sixty-nine days, bitch. Since what you grew your first pew? <laughs> Any kind of sex act clouded my judgment. Sixty-nine, eh? Nice. You see, you're actually unwell. You can't help but spread this sickness around, like. Oh no! I just got a vision. What? What if? I'm just thinking, like, Amory really emphasized her vibrator earlier. What if the vibrator ends up breaking Zoe's 69 cel celibacy over camp or whatever? Wow. That is definitely a vision. Like, what if she, like, steals it or something? I don't know. You're getting, like, a That's So Raven. <laughs> okay, where are we at? Bird Psycho. She's got to be top of the list, right? Yeah. She's Fuck. I don't like it's, when they make it. Yeah, it's not her now. Damn it. Out Sasha and all of the convoys in theory, but there's always a possibility that I'm just <laughs> bundled up. Remind me why we don't think it's Spider again because he's pathologically afraid of birds. I just saw Darren wasn't crossed out yet on mm. that list. <laughs> I mean, this yeah, this is definitely not gonna help their situation with cash. Should be right. 
I'm actually boiling. I'm gonna go for a dip in the lake. Darren is horny. <clears throat> Ash looking fresh right now. We're matching. Oh. <clears throat> Ash. Don't tell me they're in. Yeah, they're in this room. That's crazy. I'd be so mad. Never have I ever seen my parents have sex. Mom is hot. Never have I ever given a bird pop. Oh, Malachi's drinking. Rowan? Never have I ever done anything. Oh. That's a convenient question. Oh. Oh, no. Darren's going to be like, you did it with someone else, but you won't with me. Never have I ever had sex with someone I'm in love with. Whoa. Wow. So she's saying she wasn't in love with Sasha? Yeah. Look <laughs> at you see Zoe back there, bro. Whoa. What's all that? Moisturizer, heard of it? Of course you haven't. Palms and face. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Don't like that. Okay. Like wow. this. Oh god. Come on, give me something. He's so much taller than her. Smells like flower <laughs> <laughs> Bro, don't ruin it for yourself. He likes her. Why is it fucked? She doesn't want to like Spider. Darren. <laughs> Problem is, Darren wants more, but this yeah. is like cash is like. This is the limit. Yeah. We're maxing out right here. Whoa, Whoa, where are we? We got a new limit. Wait. Wait. Giving you what you want. What do you want? Ooh. Maybe that was a bad way of phrasing it. Yeah, and I get... Darren doesn't want Cash to do it just because... They want to do it like they want cash to want to do it too right right it's, it shouldn't be a chore yeah. <laughs> zoe when you see something what are you doing nothing that's amory's bag your bag's over there oh my god oh What's behind your back? What'd, what'd she just throw on her bed? You can't find my phone anywhere. Did you leave it in your cabin? I looked everywhere. Is that what Zoe took? I want device connected. Oh no, they were recording them talking on the phone in the earlier, right? Sorry about that. Yeah, but that was Miss Oba's phone. Okay. I want you to imagine a beach, the waves gently lapping the shore. This is like this type of shit they do on Too Hot to Handle. They're like, let's go do a workshop and just do shit like this. Look across the blue water and feel the breeze brush against your cheek. Device disconnected. Oh, new device. Yep, oh, here it is. Um, remind me why we don't think it's spider again. Oh, that was a call. Hold on, Ethophobia. Turn it off. Say hello. 
Ah. Oh, it couldn't be worse. Guy who gaslit me into thinking I wanted an open relationship while he was trying to decide if he liked boys. Who knows what he's capable of? Who? Uh, Spencer! <laughs> no! Hours, and you she always looks so bad. Why did he do that? Last one in is a rotten egg! Try to come on! You really think I'd do that shit? No, look, hi. As if they don't hate her enough yeah. already. I think we just witnessed another attack. That's like, and I think I know who it is. Has to be her. By that one on Faye Brown. But she, either way, she's fucking over Amory. You don't think that was her that was playing that? <laughs> Seems way too obvious. Yeah. And? Whatever. It's cool. Just kind of felt we're friends or something. Oh, don't do my boy like that. Now, in order to get back to camp, make it out of here alive. <laughs> You have to work as a team. You'll be doing it since I attended Harvey High. Now it is a rite of passage. Well, we find man. <laughs> <laughs> I have a really bad feeling about this. No peeking. <laughs> no peeking. What are we doing? <laughs> this is insane to do on a school trip. They just have to find their way back. No, I'm calling it right now, bro. It wasn't Zoe because she stole Amory's vibrator from her bag and used it and broke her celibacy. I'm calling it, bro. Wait, what? She she went into Amory's bag and stole her vibrator. I guarantee uh, you that's what it was. Gotcha. And broke the little streak she has on her phone. So who took the phone? I don't know. I feel like they're gonna confront Zoe and be like, you have the phone, and she's gonna be like, nope, I just have the vibrator. What time is it? It's gonna get dark soon. Uh, judging by the shadows, I reckon it's about 3 p.m. <laughs> my mom made me and my brother do Cub Scouts. <laughs> when my mom made me and my brother do I need a break. Well... Which one of us we gonna eat first? <laughs> I don't get it. Like you spend all this time trying to take things further, and the second I try, you reject me. How do you think I feel knowing you're doing it to pity me, Darren? Darren, I don't pity you. I love you. Can we just talk about this for two seconds? Whoa, what is it? Dead bird. Mushrooms. Oh my god. Do we think they're magic? Oh, they're magic. Trust me. Probably just normal ass mushrooms. Wait, what? He's already eating them. <laughs> okay, well, Slots found the mushrooms, so why don't you go find your own food? Maybe I will. Like I said, I don't feel anything, Mr. Snuggle Pot. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> but I don't have enough money to pay rent. <laughs> You accept the little chips, maybe? <laughs> and... It's definitely high as fuck. Oh my god, Sasha. We stay so rough, confront Zoe, and make her confess! I have a great plan. When he's going solo on this mission. Maybe they didn't work. <laughs> Doesn't seem like it's affecting anyone else. Until Here we now. Go. Here we go. Can you hear that? Look at him back there. <laughs> Still talking to the tree. Can you hear that cicada? Mm hmm. <laughs> Ants dancing back there. <laughs> <laughs> I told you, Mr. 
<laughs> Come on! <laughs> it's so ridiculous. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Where are they going necessarily? <laughs> Can we see what they really look like? <laughs> They're all just tripping fucking balls. Where are they What's going? Queen, see? Yeah, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to paradise, my little bush turkeys. Is that the DJ? Maybe. Relax. They'll be fine. Spider and the boys know what they're doing. <laughs> no, they don't. <laughs> and just zooming around. Bad trip. Whoa. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Rowan and Malachi? <laughs> Try some of the mud cake. <gasps> oh, oh no. Oh. I know what you're doing. You think I'm bird psycho? I am not bird psycho! Yes, you are! You're ruining my life because you think I'm a sex goblin and you stole Kitty's phone and played the recording! That wasn't me! Then why are you sneaking? Uh oh. Bird psycho! Nobody's paddling the big canoe! Is that. A term for. I got it. You know, I, was I got it. Auditioning the finger puppets. I was DJing the VJ. I was flicking through some glitter jars. <laughs> <laughs> Who is Bird Psycho? I don't believe you. No. Then why do I have this? What the hell is that? My vibrator? Okay, you can't crown yourself. That's the whole point. <laughs> No one crowns Le uh, LeBron. Does literally crown himself. No, all the other time. people crown LeBron. He literally crowns himself all the time. Well, you're not him. <laughs> so I think we got that one wrong. I got that one wrong too. Yeah, it's possible I went a little too hard on that. I just I don't even know at this point who it could be. Your second place is still a possibility. Rowan, yeah, that was my first one. And then you said her, and I was like, yeah, it's but, her. But then I said, she's an obvious misdirect. Okay, a little weird, Spider. Ugh. Why are you following me, creep? I'm back on Rowan. Because we need a reason for Malachi to not like him, so mm -hmm. he can be endgame with Amory. Yeah. Just tell me to go, and I'll go. Here we go, here we go. I hope Oba doesn't show up. Let's go! Okay. Come Lord! Okay. Let's go! Nah, but what's gonna happen is they're gonna do this and then next episode or after this she's just gonna be like, It was the shrooms. I don't actually like you, Spider. Damn, okay, Spider. I hope he, like, king shit. I hope he can get it going this, this time, right? Damn. Chippies on my ride or die. What time? Whoa, he's, 
hearing Amory's voice. Help you take my clothes off? These are all things that she actually said. Is that you, Amory? Oh, I'm being serious right now. <laughs> uh, don't... What? Amory, wait! <laughs> Here comes Emery. Here comes Emery. Come on. Come sit down. I think maybe that's a bad idea. I think it's a great idea. Malachi. Sit down, Malachi. <laughs> He's all over the place right now. But I want to find a way that works for both of us. I don't want you to be uncomfortable. No, Darren, that's, that's impossible. <laughs> I can't be uncomfortable when I'm with you. You let me be myself. You're my soulmate, Dan. Oh, wow. Cashy. You're mine. <laughs> Adorable. <laughs> Brian. <laughs> my nose is a chip. Everyone's just hooking up. I want you to touch yourself. Whoa! Let him know. <laughs> Cash about to get it going. <laughs> Holy shit! Should we be here right now? Oh, Cash just had Darren. Jerk off? They figured it out. That was something. Who has know. her phone? Or is, or is it back with Quinny now? <gasps> she got bit by a fucking snake! Shut up. No. Ah! Oh. And they got crazy snakes yeah, in Australia, bro, too. Yeah, snake in Australia. You, That's different. You need some help. I'm sorry. If that whole situation was because of me, I've been an asshole. I, you don't deserve that. Or does he? I've actually been really, really trying to be a better person. Anyway. Look at the look he's giving, right? Yeah. Like, well, I shouldn't have been fucking with you this whole time. I reckon we can all be better. If we really want to be. If we really, really want to be. I just don't get if it's him why he would do it on his first day. Random? Okay, okay, it's like a group thing. I was like, why is Ant just laying with Sasha? I sleep in my life. Same. <laughs> uh oh. Show him. Oh. Yes, sir. <laughs> Spider. Reset that thing. You guys look fucked up. Look at Harper's hair. Looked crazy. Uh oh. Oh yeah, she got bit. I forgot. She's going into fucking anaphylactic shock or whatever. Oh my god. I've been bitten by a snake. It's probably an Eastern Brown. What? I go down. Oh, what the hell? You panic, I'm going to panic, which means that venom is going to travel to my lymph nodes faster. You all have to stay calm. You're my only chance of survival. Dude. <laughs> what? Guys, guys, this is not good. This is not good. Spider, this is not really bad. Do you still have your blindfold? Yes. Okay, bind your ankle. Do you okay, I'm free. Look at me. Why the hell did that teacher think this was a good idea? Blue bag. Oh, oh, in someone's bag right there. I've never seen that many people carry one person at a time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Realistically, you could probably move faster if like it's like two people were carrying her. I like how Sasha, like, before they did get lost, too, was like, you're going the wrong way. Like, it's literally that way. And now she's the one leading them there. Missy? 
Yeah, Missy, that's who I meant, yeah. Nightmare. I mean, I don't think uh, Quinny is going to die, but that is still very scary what happened. Um, I feel bad for her, obviously, for that, but then also I want to know whose bag the phone was in. I think it was a blue bag, but then I think the next bag that we saw was also a blue bag, so doesn't narrow it down completely, but it does this episode eliminate Zoe as one of the top suspects from us at least i think they thought so this episode too so i guess going back to my gut rowan like i said i don't think anyone else makes any sense whatsoever um especially because he he's involved with malachi and so is amory and ever since rowan showed up malachi has been up in the air about who he likes so i don't know what the whole bird thing represents but Hopefully we find that out soon, but yeah, that whole camping thing was just a horrible idea on Voss's part. That dude's a moron leading them out there and just being like, get back. I mean, dude, I'm, you're you're responsible for these kids. He should literally lose his job from yeah. that. Like, it's crazy. If I was Quinny's like, parents, I would just sue. Like, that is insane. So hopefully we can eliminate the whole come lords here soon. Um, in general because of this dude. We did get some relationship progress this episode. From two relationships specifically. Uh, Missy and Spider finally got it on. I mean, I think that they, they're good together. Personally, I think they have chemistry. And the slow build up this season has been fun to watch. And seeing that play out the way it did. Definitely a good payoff. I hope that they continue to like each other. And then... We had Darren and Cash finally not have sex, but like get as intimate as they ever have, I think. And I'm just happy for them because it definitely like it was going to come up at some point. Like Darren wants to have sex. Cash doesn't want to have sex. Like they love each other. But at some point, Darren definitely might become like sexually frustrated. So uh, it happened this episode and I'm glad that they came to... A, you could just end the sentence there. I'm glad they came. Yeah. I'm glad they came to a compromise. And uh, I hope that just going forward that that means that they're going to be even better than they already were. All right, guys. That is it, though, for this episode. If you guys enjoyed our reaction, please drop a like, comment, and subscribe. Check out our links in the description. we got our Patreon, Discord, our second channel, A-Talk. All of our social media is in the address to our PO box. We will catch you guys next time for Season 2, Episode 5 of Heartbreak High. Peace out.